So Ableton Live 12 was just announced and I just got access to the beta. Let's open it up and try it out. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama. First things first, this is way too bright for me. So themes and colors, follow system. Okay, we got dark, light, warm, cool, neutral. Let's see what themes they got. Oh, no. Classic, medium, dark. But maybe I could switch it up just to make it feel different. <laughs> I kind of like that. That's giving like a vintage vibe. Let's try this one on for size. All right, so what's new? Okay, so this menu is different, I believe. So let's, uh, let's just cook up a little something. Let's pull out a little, I don't know, a little percussion loop from one of my packs. Okay, so the first thing that I saw that I liked is all the new MIDI stuff. Let's pull up my drum rack. Okay, so yeah, apparently like you can generate all types of MIDI to get the ideas going. Let's do LJ Faith Kick. Generate, boom, okay, right here. Rhythm, pitch, pattern. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's cool. Let's get a little snare in there, a little rim. Okay, let's throw a little hi-hat in there. We're generating all this. So you go to generate pattern density all the way. Okay, there you go. Let's try to generate some melodies, dude. Let's pull up lounge lizard. I guess I don't need Captain Chords anymore. I guess we could keep it in C major for now and then see how it looks when we change it. Generate. Rhythm. Oh, you go into the clip view? Envelopes, notes, highlight scale. Oh, this is also new. I can have Lounge Lizard and whatever other plugins are viewing as well, which is dope. Oh, and the mixer. Hmm, <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. If I wanted to change this, invert. Add interval, add interval, add interval. Shape. Whoa, what the? F That's cool. Oh, okay, stacks. Stacks is how you generate chords, I believe. So, root, inversion. Okay, but what if I wanna add another note? Okay, that added a fourth. Yep. Duration, one half. Oh, I have to change the root. Okay. I get this, but I feel like I need to actually learn how to use it properly. Because, I mean, so far it seems sick, dude. Cause when I was just highlighting it and just like changing the root of it, but then it just generates them. So that's where I get a little lost. The notes it created so far sound good. I just don't know how to make more of them. What I would have assumed is you just do it boom and then it'll just make a chord at a time. That's what I thought would, would happen, but. You can take the generate off and just hit the little button next to it so it's not auto generating constantly. I can tear in this off. So the piano roll definitely has a lot of cool things. I'm just trying to figure out how to use it properly. But so far, like everything I've done, for example, like all these drums, 
I just kind of auto generated them like this kick pattern. I just pushed a few buttons and that happened. Same with the hi hat. I just pushed a few buttons and I got this hi hat pattern. So, I mean, that's dope. I'm trying to figure out how to do it with chords properly. So, humanizing the chords, I'm assuming select them. There's a button right here. Humanize, turn the percentage up, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Let's put that at 100. That's dope, okay. Now, let me see, if I switch the scale to, I don't know, G flat and hit fit to scale, what is it gonna do? That's dope. Those chords don't sound the best in that scale, but that is dope. A minor fit to scale. Let's go back to C major and just see if it easily goes back. Ah, so it fits to the scale, but it doesn't go back to the chords I had previously. So that means at some point it fumbled. Let's go back to the simpler times though. Let's put a bass note and just auto generate it and see how that works. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's switch to rhythm. And let's throw in some bass notes and see what happens. Rhythm. Shape. I pick a shape or a seed. I mean, that's interesting for sure. Bro. Okay, I mean, I feel like I'm just making bad things just to see how these generating things work. Let's try shape again. Great. Oh, there it is. So here's the thing. I'm just showing that this could be my favorite feature. I wouldn't use it like this though. So maybe I should just stop. <laughs> but like, I think that is sick if you're just kind of messing around, just trying to figure stuff out. I think that's like one of my favorite things. But personally, like bass lines, I play bass lines on the push. Uh, that's like one of my favorite things to do. So I won't be using that. Melodies and stuff like that. But coming up with chords is what piqued my interest the most. I also really like how I did this hi-hat pattern because, I mean, I like doing hi-hat patterns myself, but I mean, this is solid. Just coming up with ideas on the fly, like, I think that's dope. But one thing, like, you see what people that use FL Studio, when they're, like, speed racing and they want to just come up with a hi-hat, look how easy it is to just come up with a hi-hat pattern. You pull up the hi-hat, you hit rhythm, you put the density all the way up, now you got a hi-hat pattern. And then you can start doing things from there as opposed to like dragging a MIDI or something like that. And obviously you can do the step duration to make it like if you're doing a trap beat or something, you can do like 1 16th. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's dope. One thing I did want to try was finding similar samples. Where's the button? Right here. That's dope, but I wanted to see if it can do it with like a whole sample. Oh, you know what? I got that new Mad Keys pack. Let's just throw that on a simpler. Let's like even chop it. Let's record that real quick. Get that kick out of there. It's a little too human. I don't want to go full Monty Booker, bro. All right, so we got that. Let's see if this will just switch out to something cool. Hold on. Generate a clap. Okay, wait, if I was trying to go really fast on some FL Studio stuff, I would put the density to like one or two. I don't know, let's humanize that. 
Oh, I'm not really feeling that clap. Let me get something similar. This is dope. I like it. All right, so let's get a little percussion. I don't know, let's just get something from one of my packs. That's kind of hard. Okay, does it know what key the sample's in? So this was A flat minor. And I transposed it down three. One, two, three. I think that'll do the trick. Let's see if it'll generate a good 808. That's kind of hard. Essentials, I have this minus five for YouTube, but it is gonna be lower overall now. How do I lock this in and do something else on top? Can I select an area to generate? Okay, yes. density there. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I wanted to swap out the 808. That's cool. I'm rocking with it. Overall, Live 12 is looking dope. All I've dived into so far is just a little generation stuff that I think is dope. Yeah, I mean, this beat's all right. Most of it was generated. It's all right, you know. But yeah, stay tuned for more Live 12 content, I guess. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama.